Welcome back to the shop. Sure is good to be in where it's warm and dry. It's pouring down rain outside right now. So I sure do thank the Lord for a nice warm place to have some fun in. Today's project is a very common tool, a tool that I've been familiar with from a very early age. I remember, I think I was about 10 or 11. My dad hired me to move, I think it was about four tons of dirt from our carport at our house to our backyard because we needed to raise our backyard a little bit and so i ran a shovel and a wheelbarrow back and forth hauling that dirt and i think this was back um, probably date myself here back in the early 80s late 70s and um, made all of 30 dollars and boy that was a good chunk of change back then but um, what we're going to look at is a shovel something that i've been familiar with for a long time and most of you probably are too so let's take a look at that so here's the two shovels that i have and the one there behind is the shovel that i'm used to seeing and grabbing hold of i've got three or four of those at least two or three of those and i was noticing that it this other one was smaller and I noticed that it says right there, it says USA Tempered Zero. But the other one here says number two. I've been in a hardware store a couple of times trying to see if I can find a one. And I can't find one. But um, I thought, let's get this shovel cleaned up and fixed up. It's got some cement here that I think will come off with the wire wheel on the angle grinder. It's got a lot of rust here on the back of it, but I think we can clean that all up and get this to looking like a really nice tool. So join me on this. So much better looks like there was a red V painted here and if I can if I'm seeing it correctly this up here may have been painted black so we might try to go back to that paint this all black tape this off paint that with the red V but we'll put a primer on it first and then we'll get it painted up cleaned up oil it up Re put it put it back together again and we'll be in good shape.
spring hasn't sprung yet. So we're still wearing coats. It's really cold outside, but it's nice and warm in here. So we're going to take advantage of it. We've got this shovel ready to put the handle on it. We've got our handle all fixed up and ready to go. We're going to put that in, but first I needed to find a rivet to put in that hole. This is the largest rivet that I had and it's not big enough, not big enough in diameter, nor is it long enough. So I went to my scrap bin, didn't want to run into town and waste time at the hardware store. Went to my scrap bin and found this piece of metal. Took and straightened it on my little makeshift anvil here and made my own rivet. Now this is a process of mushrooming over the end. It's called peening. If you're not familiar with peening, you use a ball peen hammer. And with that round part of the hammer, you start tapping on the outside edge. This is what it looked like to begin with. And you start tapping on that outside edge. And you work your way around to the middle. Just keep working your way around. And when you get to the middle, you want to tap that good and hard and get that to mushroom. You want to move the metal slowly. If you move it too quickly, it'll start to crack, I think. Got a pretty good head on there. It's nice and shiny. I don't see any cracks. And so you just keep on working around and you want to try to keep it as even as possible. When you get it to where you want to, you smack that thing good and hard with the other end and you can kind of smooth that all out and you end up with a nice rivet. So I'll bring you down here and show you the process of peening so that we can get this shovel handle put together. Not everybody's going to have one of these. I got this at a yard sale, I think it was. It's like a punch, but it's concaved in here for rounding off rivets. And I don't know if you can see, it has mushroomed very well, but there's still a little lip that you can get your finger underneath. If you were to slide your hand along this shovel, it will probably hook you. So we're going to take this and try to mash that down. When you're done peeing those over, you're going to want to run it on a wire brush on a wire wheel and just to clean off any sharp edges and that does remove some of the paint which we need to paint the rivets anyways so it's not too big a deal
very pleased with how this came out. Turned out great. Able to keep the old handle. There is some, there was a lot of water damage, so there's some discoloration probably from mold, but I'm sure it's dried up and dead now. We've got a nice coat of linseed oil. I'll probably put another coat on it before we put it away. But this shovel, I think, is going to get a lot of use. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's a lot smaller than the other shovels that I have here. And I actually think I can be more productive with a smaller shovel than I can a bigger shovel. Because that bigger shovel is going to wear me out quicker. And this shovel here, we can keep on working beyond the point we'd be able to with a bigger one. So thanks for joining me on this. I appreciate you spending your time with me and giving me your time. Have a great day and trust to see you on the next video. So here's our before. Here's the after.